Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please do not wait. Please don't wait until I say I'm running a schedule. I mean, I do that only because like I'm all caught up and I'm like, hey, where's everybody at? And then everybody comes at once. If you think about getting a reading, just do it, okay? <laughs> if you want, all right? If if it's not with me, I understand. You go wherever, whatever's going to be the most helpful for you. And also, all of us readers, spiritual practitioners, we all have a different approach. We have a different specialty. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're looking for really, really, really practical, yes or no kind of thing, Maybe tarot is the best for you. If you're looking for predictive, I mean, I find astrology to be very helpful to let you know what energies you're about to come into and how they might affect you. If you want um, spiritual, you know, angelic messaging is more about gently and lovingly helping you get past your blocks to come into your place of peace, to feel good about the path that you're on and to show up every day with a sense of warmth and love and radiance right to help you find your light and to expand that while helping you understand your surface level situations but also understanding how to take those moments and understand them on a soul level you feel me so like really balancing the deeper part of the message or the situation or what have you so that you can learn the lesson properly and come through it and come out the other side, <clears throat> you know, hopefully feeling um, filled with love, <laughs> right? And loving your life and falling in love with your life. It's all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, angelsouls444.com. Check the description box for any upcoming lives. And let's get into it. All right. I got the microphone sitting here now, so hopefully that's not terrible. Beloved one, this card was wanting to sneak out, okay? It really was. I saw it in there and I said, hmm, let's see if it's going to come out. Beloved one, which is like the soulmate card in this deck, Archangel Shamuel, who's the Archangel of Love. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. All right. So for some of you out there, this could in fact be, I don't know, like a love partner, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But it doesn't have to just be love. It can be it can be whoever comes across your path who has words of wisdom for you. Or maybe they show up and they're in stark contrast to your energy. And it's through the distortion that you understand where you need to head next. Right? Whether that's someone coming and screaming at you and you go, you know what? I don't know what's going on there. I can't imagine what it's like to be operating from that place. Right? Um... Do what you got to do to stay safe, right? But, you know, that could be, that's also a role of a soulmate. Someone just kind of pops up and they do some sort of sparking off of your energy and you have a realization and they move on. Maybe it's for the best, right? And and you're left with something um, that can help you grow or that can help you evolve as well. Now, if it's a love partner, uh has kind of a been there done that energy so I don't know if that's a past life person or if there's somebody you're on the karmic wheel with or um it could it could just be someone from the past that maybe you know kind of didn't get to know each other very well and they pop back up just be careful with that I mean if somebody's genuine and they have genuinely good intentions Okay, explore it. Um, but if it's somebody just coming back because times are getting tough and they want comfort and they think that, that you're just, you know, you're just one of those people who's always going to be there, you're going to discover more than ever just how precious your energy is. Your energy in particular. Because anybody who is a carrier of light, probably throughout your entire existence, you've been stepped on, scapegoated, yeah, you know, people pull all their gaslighting, all the stuff, right? And you've had to pull back for protection. Or maybe you had to become someone else or take on some sort of different persona to protect yourself. Now, you need to find the original you 
that original <laughs> copy <laughs> and bring that forward. And once you do that, there could be a lot of backlash, but there's also, as I said, like people who want to come back and feed off of that. You are the original, okay? Don't let anybody have a piece of your energy. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.